I've got uh, Linda Campbell on the phone here from Altaville, California. She is a dog breeder and an expert on Portuguese water dogs. She's been uh, uh, breeding Portuguese water dogs for what is it, 18 years, Linda? 18. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, are and there are great. there any drawbacks that the Obamas should be worried about with Portuguese water dogs? Well, yeah, they take a lot of time. Okay, they take a lot of personal attention. Uh, every water dog that I have ever placed and every water dog that I own wants to be a member of the family. When I open the refrigerator, they all run to see what I'm getting. If you get uh, come home from the store and you have a treat for somebody, you better have a treat for all the dogs. I mean, they, they just become the last child in your family. And that's going to be hard for them because they're under such public scrutiny and they do have a lot of obligations. But it sounds like the girls are making a walking dog schedule and et cetera, et cetera. So maybe, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, the girls don't travel. The girls stay home with the uh, grandma when uh, the uh, parents travel. So I think the dog will have a fairly nice, stable home life. Yeah, I think so too. What is it that makes the breed so popular? Start out with the fact that they're a medium sized dog. They're in the working group, which makes them, in my opinion, much more stable. They are a non shedding breed. They are a non allergic breed to people that are allergic to dander. They're extremely intelligent. And they're just an all-around family dog. They want to be a member of your family. When you say they were a working dog, what sort of work did they do? They worked on fishing boats. They pulled the fishing nets back in by the buoys. They took uh, messages from ship to ship because there was no radios. Uh, they went overboard and uh, dived down and picked up things that fell overboard. And then at the end of the day, when the fishermen went home, they stayed and guarded the fishing boats. That was their job. Wow, that's, uh, there's something very spiritual about that, isn't there, with the fisher dog? It is. <laughs> the Kennedys are very good friends of theirs. And, of course, the Kennedys have had two for years, and now they have a third. Seems to be a, a breed that can get along with all that publicity, and the dogs go to the Senate with, the, with Senator Kennedy, and they seem to do fine. And So it seems like it might be a really good match. What do you think of some of the political heat that Obama has taken for delaying on getting the puppy. When are you going to get it? Soon. How soon? Soon. Well, I, I think it's irrelevant. I think the man needs to run our country. <laughs> I think a dog is very much second, but yeah. he pledged to get a shelter dog, and it was a very good pledge, and it was done in good faith, I'm sure. But shelter dogs aren't always the best for the high profile this dog is going to have to endure. Actually, they ended up getting a dog that was returned to the breeder, so it is a rescue dog, and um, they waited for the right one. We were talking about a little bit earlier, you, you were worried about uh, maybe this becoming too popular, aren't you? Yeah, I think the whole Portuguese uh, water dog community is worried about it, because we pledge to take back any dog that is sold that is unwanted. What, what happens with Dalmatians, with 101 Dalmatians and etc. Six months from now, we don't want to find the shelters full of Portuguese water dogs. There's a so lot of, uh, right. there's actually a lot of protocols involved in this whole dog issue for a president, too. So they've, they've got it as a... Because this is just a dog that wants a family to love him. That's all he is. He's yeah. a dog. Yeah, the dog will not uh, really understand its prominence in the yeah. world, will it? All they know is who loves him and who's taking care of him. That's all they know and that's all they care about. I've heard these dogs are... Um, they really bond with their owners, and they follow them everywhere. Yep, they do. Yeah. They follow you everywhere. <laughs> They're like... Uh, I mean, everywhere. They go from room to room with you, don't they? Yeah. There's an old um, joke in the Portuguese water duck community that um, the last time you went to the bathroom by yourself was the day before you got your water dog. <laughs> they follow you everywhere. <laughs> into the shower, everywhere. How do people find you if they would like to inquire about Portuguese water dogs? Okay, it's Camlin 